All right, Brim, we're doing a Q&A about things you need to know with Rotary. And you are the new host mom, host family. Tell me what the process was once you decided to do it. Um, I leaned on Nina. Right, we all do. <laughs> I called Nina every day. Um, the process so far has been directly with the student about, um, about her arrival date, uh, communication with Nina uh, or whomever on our on the side of our club who uh, who has the information and materials that we provide for our Rotary student. Um, am I missing something? It's been so simple. I don't know that there is a a formal process, and it certainly hasn't been difficult so far. So when the students first arrive, you go to the airport and you meet them, okay. and then what happens? We had fun all weekend long. We okay. were. <laughs> Have you moved into the the dorm yet? No, I'm staying with with the. Okay, and that's only for like a week, and then you move into the dorm. Yep, she arrived on Friday night, and she's with us until the coming Monday, so a little over a week. We'll move her into the dorm, um, and right now we're in the process of gathering the materials that our club provides, making sure that we have the right information from Armstrong about her move-in, about registering for, the, for her classes, and the student international student orientation. So Nina, how often will the student actually be at the host house? As much as Brim will allow her, <laughs> or as much as she wants to be. You know, I mean, certainly they're encouraged to engage in college, you know, campus life, um, but also, you know, they're encouraged to, you know, spend time with their host family or other members of the club just to understand more about the community. What would you tell the members watching this video? Um, to, how can you engage with the student and take them, take her out boating or whatever? What, what's the process well, it for was that? Certainly one of the things that uh, gave me comfort in agreeing to be the host family this year was the work that the, that the host families had done before me, number one. They were so well organized and, 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 and so understood what the student needed throughout the year, but in addition, this club developed a list of all the activities that Rotary members of this club could do to help our student experience this region and experience Savannah and have a good experience here. Everything from a tour of the port um, to a walking tour through downtown. A walking town, yep, or um, a, a, a visit at the Telfair Museum and a, and a special um, museum tour. Um, so there are all this very long, very impressive list that anyone would be pleased to have have access to and ha have the chance to uh, to participate in. Um, when I saw that list, I knew there were so many people who were willing to help us that it didn't feel like it was a huge burden to me to try to entertain and, and fill up for time throughout the year. So let's say I would like to take her kayaking or I want to take her to dinner. Just call me and tell okay. me what you would like to do and I will coordinate with Alice. To, uh, to make that happen or give you direct contact information after she's met you. Right. Yeah. Right. The nice thing is to, um, to make sure we exchange her email address with the club and then also um, the club provides a cell phone nice for her so she can communicate and that way people can get in touch with her as well. All right. Well, thank you for being on Q&A with Rotary. <laughs>